Welcome to the beautiful island of Trinidad and Tobago. Good day everyone. My name is Zachary Lochman. I am nine years old. I live at Hermitage Village, Macaulay, Caxton Bay, Trinidad. Today, I am going to be your virtual tour guide and take you through four attractions in our twin island of Trinidad and Tobago. We will travel through two attractions in Trinidad and two attractions in Tobago. Sit back, relax, and enjoy the journey. Trinidad and Tobago lies close to the continent of South America, northeast of Venezuela and northwest of Guyana. Trinidad is by far the larger of the two main islands, has an area of about 1,850 square miles. Our first destination is Portisville. This is the bustling capital of Trinidad. One of the most popular things to do in Portisville is to take in the antique architectural highlights around the Queen's Park Savannah. Here we have seven elegant mansions called the Magnificent Seven. They include Whitehall, Ambad's House, Stormyers Castle, Malflora's, Archbishop's Palace, Queen's Royal College, he and his court. Near the Queen's Park Savannah, there is the beautiful Royal Botanical Gardens and the National Museum and Art Gallery, which displays local art history and culture. Port of Spain is famous for its colorful, full of energy and fun carnival also known as the greatest show on earth. For an overall overview of the city, there is a three-hour Port of Spain city tour available. Mount St. Benedict is our next stop. Rising above the northern range hills over to Napuna is the Red Roof Church Tower of Mount St. Benedict Monastery, which is one of the most striking landmarks east of Port of Spain. This community was established in 1912 by the Benedictine monks and is the largest and oldest monastery in the Caribbean. Within the monastery are religious building, a farm, a rehabilitation center, a guest house. Visitors go hiking and bird watching in the surrounding forest. The monastery is also famous for its yogurt which is shipped to supermarkets across the country. We now direct our attention to Tobago, our twin sister island. One of the most popular tourist attractions in Tobago is Pigeon Point. It is one of the most popular stretches of coast on Tobago. Here you'll find a range of different water sports, including kite surfing, jet skiing, windsurfing, scuba diving, and snorkeling. Boats leave from here for snorkeling trips to the Boko Reef and they swim at the nylon pool. Fort King George is our next and last destination in our tour today. Built after the French captured Tobago from the British, this military compound was controlled by the French until 1793 when it was recaptured by the British. In 1804, it was named Fort King George in honor of King George III. And in 1854, it stopped operating as a military structure. It is built overlooking Scarborough Bay and is one of the top historical tourist attractions in Tobago. And is the most well-preserved fort on the island. It offers a beautiful view over town and the coast. It's a lovely spot to wander around with lush lawns, magnificent old trees and beautiful plants. Still surviving are remains of the original brick stone walls, several cannons, and a lighthouse. We have come to the end of our tour today. Thank you very much for your time, and I truly hope that it was informative.